Maybe. Oh, oh, headshot, headshot, haha. -ha. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Forest Realism Challenge. Now I've been doing a lot of hunting since last episode where we went down way in the caves and could not find a way into the sinkhole. So I've hunted a lot around the area, mostly deer, getting plenty of deer skin. Also have a few rabbits and I ended up having to make an extra drying rack because of that. So I do have plenty of food right now. I'm going to take this one. I know it's done. I think maybe that one is... Nope, nope, still... Still not quite ready. So we do have some meat that's still curing, still drying out. So instead, what we're going to do, because we need to find a place to get inside the cave system that will lead down, hopefully, to the very base of the sinkhole, we need to do some exploring. And I have not explored along the coastline up this way. You see there's some stuff up there. I'll chase some deer out along that way, but not very far. So we're going to start by going up that way into more of the highland area. All right, well, I have made it up the hill here. There's a little groove that comes up this way over there. You see my little base, my tiny little house out there in the distance. And this big open area, we actually have a large area with no trees right here, which means I'm very visible to enemies, but they are also visible to me. Hopefully, we're not going to run into anybody up here. I've already had my fair share of cannibal encounters, as well as those big mutant things. Definitely have dealt with enough of those, so I feel like I'd rather have a nice, more peaceful search. And I know I have plenty of blueberries right now. I'm actually full set of blueberries in my pouch, so I don't need to collect them. I'm not going to worry about the rabbit just yet till we get further along. So we got some more water here. I also do have a full pot of water. Before I go diving down, let's take a look from this side. There may be a, another cliff face right here. And yes, there is. We got a cliff and a little bit more of river connecting this way. So we've got this fork in the river that comes along here and connects up this way. It doesn't go all the way to the ocean just like the other one. And we've got a very steep cliff face. It looks like I might climb up the side there, too. I'm not seeing anything that looks like an immediate cave opening. No tents. I see no structures, like cannibal village structures. I could probably make the jump down this way and almost started the jump down by accident. So maybe there's a cave underneath that section, maybe underneath the overhang. We'll go hop over here, take a look. I don't think there is a cave this way, but you know, it's a perfect spot for a cave to be hidden away. And yep, no cave. So let's go across the river because now the tent's right there. That's the cave I went into before that connects to the area where you get the climbing axe. Also has a, a little underwater area that connects back to actually in the river you come out of a underwater opening in the river so we know we don't need to go that way and of course it is turning to night time so it's going to be a little dark soon hopefully i won't have to worry too much about cold temperatures for the moment well i found some deer finally up this way there's another one that was up here kind of went up into the north uh snowy area then i've got this one there i just killed I also discovered a new animal. I think it was referring to the white rabbit I saw. I don't think it was anything other than that. But I may have seen a raccoon or boar somewhere nearby and did not even hear it or realize it. And now I'm actually hungry. So I'm going to use my dried lizard, which means, you know, hey, I've got some meat I can cook now, but I have to cook it. Because it's not going to dry in my pack, apparently. And, oh, there's another deer. Hey, Mr. Deer. Let me go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to get you anyway. Take your skin, at least. I can't take any more meat. Don't know why they made it so limited on the uh, generic meat itself. You think you could just take a certain number of pieces of meat. And if you don't have dried lizards or whatever in there, you could take more generic meat as a result of it. Ooh, I found some mushrooms. 
A manita mushroom. Let's look around. Oh, hi, Mr. Bird. Uh, see if there's more mushrooms right here. Surely there's more than just the two. You would think there'd be more than just two sitting right there, but... Oh, there we go. There's one. That one. I like how at a distance it was going to let me go ahead and eat it. I had to get closer for it to recognize. Like, there. It shows, like, oh, I can eat it. Not that I can collect it. But as soon as I'm close enough to interact with it, then it switches to, hey, you can collect these. So a bunch of Amanita mushrooms here, which I, I'm not sure what those are for, but I could throw them in a stew, I guess. Oh, not sure if he's making it sound because he's mad at me or because he was running away. Oh, there he is. Yes, got him, got a boar. First wild boar to kill. I think he's generic meat. Yep, I knew it. I saw. I saw a building up here. So let's see. Maybe they got a fire I can use right away. And got some aloe vera. That's good. I haven't found too much aloe. Uh, oh, a bunch of aloe vera up here. Also a bunch of water. They got flooded out. This is like a horrible place to build a camp water all through the middle of it. That's not very good. I mean, it gives you water to drink, hopefully, but it kind of sucks when it's flooded your whole, you know, home out. Like, look at that. Some of the, some of the huts are in the middle of the water. Let's get that. I don't like, I don't want you looking at me while I'm here. Say anything? Else? Oh, another deer. Come on. I... Come on, hit the thing. Tennis balls. So many tennis balls and so many different luggage packs. Are there really that many people carrying tennis balls when they go traveling by plane? Like, you know what? I can't find tennis balls where I'm going, so I got to take them with me. These are my special tennis balls. And it's another clothing set that I already had. So apparently they just put a lot of multiple copies of clothing sets through this whole map area. Let's see. We are here right on the coast. And yeah, look, there's uh, some more of those little fishing type huts that we've seen elsewhere. I'm sure there's probably some stuff down there, but I don't think there's any, any actual, you know, caves through there, right? I mean, not in the beach, not in the sand. Ah, come here, Mr. Rabbit. I wants to eat you. Well, you just got stuck, didn't you? All right, give me the arrow. There we go. They're not very bright when they just start running into a log and kind of keep running into the log, not ever moving, trying to get around it. Ooh, we got sharks. And another rabbit at my feet. There we go. Another rabbit. I'm so glad they made it where you could carry more rabbit skins, more rabbit fur. Oh, and I'm actually maxed out. It used to be you could only carry like four, I think. Now you could carry ten. That helps so much more with some of these items that you need a lot of rabbit fur to make. All right, let's see. Uh, a little spot I can blow up with dynamite. I think I actually have plenty of dynamite ready to go so we'll just uh do that i haven't really been messing with these because of the fact that i really don't need the gun i never really use the gun but i in realism standpoint i don't know that there's a gun there i'm just you know haven't wanted to waste my supplies of dynamite but we used it we've got a part of a gun so now we know if somebody's buried conveniently under piles of solid stone old gun parts so maybe we could find a whole gun and have hey, a few bullets assuming that the gun that old would even when reassembled would still work it seems weird that somebody would bury a gun in that many pieces around the uh, island okay so i'm walking along the coast right over here there's the land bridge and if you see them right there in the distance along the land bridge some cannibals, and they look like they're running very funny. Like, they're they're running faster 
Then they're actually moving, and there they go. Now they're catching up. They're like, it's like they're running on a treadmill, uh, or one of those, like, not, you know, the little treadmill top things at the airport that you get on, just stand there, and it carries you to their end. It's like they're running in the wrong direction. They're going just slightly faster than it, so they're only making a little headway. But they're coming from this direction, so either they have a search party going through this area because of somebody seeing some sign of me, or they are actively working from within this area because of a cave. And oh, 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 we found a cave. All right, so we are here at the end of the land bridge with the cave. Let's dive in just briefly and see what we find. I already got, you know, half, half of a body and, you know, some passengers. Probably should not be worrying about having the bow and arrow out. Oh, oh, I hear laughing. Oh, I like how the light just turned on in the distance there. Even though it surely was already on. And I see a... Mutant and the cannibals there. So maybe that got their attention. They're going to come after me and I can just shoot them with arrows from safely up here. And not have to uh, die too readily. Yeah, look at that. They're coming down looking for me. Uh, let me see. Where are you? I can't see Mr. Mutant. I think he is right below me there. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Ha ha ha. So yes, this is going to be just an easy, let him walk away and shoot him again. And then let him walk away, shoot him again. Once I kill him, it should be pretty easy to get the cannibals. Oh, I got him. I headshot the cannibal from up here. I could barely even see him. My God, I see his buddy out there in the distance. Then we're gonna get you. Oh, there's two more cannibals now. And I cannot hit them from here. It's almost like I'm hitting just a wall and it's just like, oh, I'm not going past that point. And I am burning through my arrows now. I am down to 17. 17 from having a max count. I hope I can find them all. And this guy down here, he is taking a lot of arrows to kill. Even after getting blown up, you can see he was hit by the dynamite. He's got all those little, you know, the burn injury type look to him. I'm not sure how that missed. Oh, I know I got a second hit on that one. Oh, 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 finally killed him. And I got one of them to come down to the base of this. And now I'm getting thirsty too. I'm about ready to just go ahead and make a fire anyway. See if I can get them to kind of move back real quick so I can shoot them. Still got that one cannibal scene there. I'm going to get some more armor out of this too if I can avoid losing any. All right, guys. You, you, this doesn't really make it easy for me to climb down. You gotta, I mean, I could drop an explosive down on them, I think. I kind of would like to get their bodies and burn them instead of just blowing them to bits. So I wonder if I can actually, like, oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe, oh, oh, headshot, headshot, ha, ha. All right, I'm hungry, but I also have only one guy left. Oh, ho, ho. I just climbed down right behind you, literally right behind you. One. All right, let's see. Look at all those arrows. That's how many arrows are in Mr. Mutant here. Let me get the creepy armor from him because guy right here is not dead. There we go. Uh, another arrow. Another arrow. Oh, he's already attracting flies. I need to, uh, I need to find all my lost arrows. <laughs> I'm sure I've got several arrows still around here. They have just kind of bounced out. And oh, look, another big cave area. Oh, I think I am in 
Yes, I am in this big cave area again. So I am back to that big area I was at before. Maybe I've got a different way down this time. First, we're going to start by throwing these guys all together. And, uh, oh, you are still alive? Tricky. He's like, he's just laying there playing possum. He's playing dead, trusting that I would not try to hit him anymore. And I'm going to get a fire going because I need to cook some food and cook some cannibals. Okay, so I have looked all over trying to find the uh, wayward arrows that did not make contact. And apparently they must have despawned because I've only got 32 now. I've also maxed out my bone armor. I have my armor on my person, the equipped armor, maxed out. I do have the three creepy armor now. I have a maxed number of bones. So what we're going to do, because I am running a little uh, low on space, we're going to make some actual bone arrows that I have not made so far. I'm going to make one more set just because I've got plenty of bones right here. There we go. I'll use up the last of these. And now we're good. So let's go ahead and take a look up here because we are back in this cavern area where uh, obviously this is, I mean, it looks like that same cavern area. Uh, got some, you know, wardrobe, luggage type stuff. Plenty of cloth here. And I, oh, I was not expecting you, Mr. Little Baby Thing. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Where's Mommy? Is Mommy around? There's five? Yep, there's five of you. Where, where's the big mama? Where's the multi-leg thingy? Surely she's around here somewhere. We're, we're assuming she's the mama because that's the, the female weird mutant thingy I've encountered. Tons of cloth. Taking all the cloth I can. Checking this. Nothing there. We got some more rope. I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't need rope. Ah, flares. Thank you. I need some more flares. And, uh, oh, this is... Yeah, this is different. I don't remember seeing this. And we got a rope to cl or a climbing spot here. So I could climb down here. I've got plenty of rope. But I also have a, ooh, you know, a little spot here I can walk around. See where this goes. Maybe this... Oh, yeah, here's another climbing down spot. So there's multiple places again I can climb down. I feel like this is the easiest one. Let's go this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I was worried I might fall there. Look, there's another spot I can jump across to. Maybe it's like you go down this way and then you climb your way back up on the other side. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I also skipped a spot where I could climb down over back around where I came in from that side. I feel like I just want to go ahead and try the climbing at spot over here. Uh, if I can get back up. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I just want to go ahead and do this part. I have it. I suffered to get it. Let's use it. And do some searching in a pathway that I know I can retrace and come back up. Oh, oh, we got something. It's a picture of one of those. I think it's the armsy one like I just killed. Uh, we've got another climbing spot here. I can't see anything in the distance. And let me check. My food is still edible. It's starting to spoil. I really do need to be better equipped for this, I think. But we're going to go a little bit further. Just... Come on. I've, I've got it. Why can I not... There we go. Acting all goofy. I couldn't get it to let me actually climb. Same thing as before. Oh, a pedometer! I got the pedometer, okay. And, oh, that's actually, yeah. I don't know why they would do that. What what would, per, you know, give them a reason to want to wrap them up like that? Uh, Snack, booze, whole bunch of tennis balls in his belly. Ah, bunch of luggage suitcases. Let's go ahead and crack them all open, see what we get here. Uh, all right, so I got some stuff. Another snack. I'm good on snacks now. I got a tennis racket. One that's not broken from them, like, abusing some poor person's body. And there's tennis balls, like, 
you know, leading in a trail almost. Oh, oh, I see you. Oh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I got you. Oh, oh yeah, running away, huh? Yeah, come on, buddy. I see you now. Ah, ha, ha. Head. Oh, there's mama. There's mama. I knew she had to be around here somewhere. Whoa, whoa. Can I, can I stay up here away from her? I think I can. I think I can. I think I am. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him. That was another headshot. Another headshot. All right. I don't feel like dealing with just, uh, slowly killing her. I really want to like take her down quickly. And of course now she moves. Yeah. How about that? You didn't like that. That didn't feel good. Did it? At least. Oh, 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 I'm sliding again. I'm sliding. Uh, yep. I'm sliding. Stop sliding me down, especially towards her. Woo. Oh, she is right there. She is mad. And I am like, that doesn't that count as headshots on her? I mean, that's the amorphous blobby nub at the top that I would assume counts as a head. And there's a camp up ahead. So maybe once I kill her, I'll find a nice little uh, fire I can use to uh, cook some food again. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Got her. All right, let's see. Let me get all my arrows again. I wonder how much creepy armor I can carry. I mean, I'm assuming I could carry a good bit. Considering how much I could carry in bone armor and all that. Uh, yes, I did headshot him. Don't know why I'm worrying about this. I, I haven't taken any damage. So I don't need to cook them. I can't make any more uh, armor right now. Oh, all right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yay. We got a fire I can use for cooking. That last bit of uh, generic meat before it completely spoils. Oh, another battery. That's awesome. I need batteries. Uh, another clothing thing. I'm sure it's just one of the ones I found. And I found another... You know, passenger, I happen to know who he is. Um, okay, nothing here. Other than the passenger and a little spot to cook some food. This might be as far as I can go here. Well, oh, no, we do have another climb down. So there's a spot here I could climb down and hopefully be able to get back up. You can see some of the lights down there from where I was. Oh, and while we have here, we got some more stuff. Another flashlight, plastic torch. I think I would just get the batteries out. Restraining order, hopefully against one of the cannibals. And uh, got the paintbrush. Of course, like we haven't found a paintbrush already. And got paint. So I am all painted up red. Hopefully that will, uh, that will respawn when I come back through. I think that is enough of this trip. I need to get supplies. So I have a lead now on where I can go. I need to make sure I stay, I, I come back fully stocked with supplies. And of course, again, if they don't respawn, which they shouldn't, I should be perfectly fine. Oh, there's my, my fire I can use when I come back if I need to. I ate all that food and now I'm already hungry again. So I think that I'm just going to head back. I've got all that food that was uh, drying on my new extra drying racks. And I've got plenty of other stuff. To put away so i'm gonna get some stuff taken care of get everything ready and the next episode we will be back here grabbing that red paint again hopefully so we don't uh have any problems and i'm already free and clear of paint because i stepped out into a little bit of rain just that tiny bit of rain washed it all off so yes that didn't help hopefully we will find that paint is back if not then oh well 
We'll explore the other ways next week. Hopefully find our way into the bottom of the sinkhole, considering we are so close to it. And that cave's just right there. So we got the pedometer. We've got a good set of batteries now. I think I've actually got seven batteries for the plastic torch. So that is going to be super helpful. We have got a tennis racket. Yay. You know, I'm, I'm going to hit them with these tennis balls, and that's how I'm going to start killing them. I've got full bone armor. I have full or full bone stockpile, full bone armor. I've got some bone arrows now. I have several pieces of creepy armor ready to go, and I've got some still equipped on me at the moment. You see on my arm right there. I could add more, but I don't want to. I think it it's just going to replace some of the other armor. I'll wait till I actually get hit, take some damage. But that is it for today's episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.